Welcome back. This is Shadow Coast, and we are playing Expeditions Viking. We left off with our village coming under attack from North Northmen. Uh, we barely were able to repel them. I have to say, it was. I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, we set this on insane, as well as as well as Iron Man mode. So <laughs> any mistake is is tough. All right, is everything well with you in the smithy? Depending on what you need me to do, yes, I have everything I need to make carving knives, repair bristles, or fix slave colors. If you need weapons or armor, you'll have to find a better equipped smith. Old Hanner and Rive has a fine smithy. He should be able to handle any request you might have. Can you make weapons or armor if I get you the equipment you need? I could. It's not my skill that holds me back. It's the tools. I need some equipment from you. Uh, crafting. This is the crafting menu. Crafting converts salvage into weapons or hides into armor. These are the crafting seals of the herdmen. So max tier one resource cap, max tier two resource cap fourteen. All right, so that's good to know. You can build, which in turn determines the total resource cap for each type of weapon. Start by selecting which type of item you want to craft. You can only craft armor and helmets if you have the armor smith smithing skills. So armor, cloth armor. Melee damage reduction, range damage reduction. Crap. Here you can preview the item you're about to build. If you accept, this is the item that will be added to your inventory. Use the durability of the item as an indicator of its overall quality. Ah, so ah, so if we upgrade these things, the durability goes up. Per unit or size or height, when creating them, click here to confirm the item once you want to craft it. So we don't. Is there a back button? I need some. Uh, hold on. Can you repair my damage equipment? This is the repairing menu. This may be the only simple menu in the game. Savor it. Here you'll be able to select weapons you want to repair during a shift. The ar amount of items you can repair is only limited by your available resources. Our, holy smokes. 360 and 3. We have 6. And 574. So we're going to go bankrupt. 33 out of 36. 2 out of 3. We're going to wait to repair. Holy smokes. Alright, Gunner the Peaceful. So he is the leader of the Northmen that attacked us. So he's been tied to the pole in the middle of an animal pen. He must have been sitting there for hours. Have had a nice night. I've had less charming bedmates. Ha ha! We didn't get a chance to properly be to properly introduced. I am called Gunner the Peaceful. I am Ulfin Hidden from Vestfold in the north. I assume you are the Thane of this village. I am Shadowko son of Ragnavird, and I am indeed the Thane here. Tell me, Shadowko son of Ragnavird, why am I still alive? What is Ulfin Din? We are the chosen warriors of Odin. We go into battle with no coat of armor. Instead, we wear wolf pelts and become mad as beasts. You are honored to be under Odin's protection. It was fought well. We're going to give him a break. I can offer you a way out of this, depending on how you answer my next question. Guided by the wrath of the Allfaller, I have slain many men. Neither fire nor iron has any effect on me. It's a powerful pact. I'll make my words count, Thane. Why did you attack my village? Your defenses are weak. No palisades. The bare six uses for earthworks. Enough playing around. Here's what I believe happened. I think someone sent you. Ah, oh, we failed. It was hard. So do you want to believe that you sailed down here to take our silverware? Your village lies along a major trade route. I assumed you would be wealthy. And how are the, were, is it the beacons weren't lit? Perhaps the watchmen were, were doing a shit job of keeping watch. In their defense, we were being very quiet. Alright, I'm going to make... I'm your, I know he's lying. I'm sure it's the skull dude. Oh, well, let's see. So he denies having any knowledge of the skull, dude. Skull, skull cleaver. I'm, no, you're lying. You swear, is such a, or what is such an oath worth to me? Well, all right, I accept your offer. So we're gonna let him free. I met school, skull cleaver, and Orkney jar, and we swore your village was a worthwhile target. Both of them, the painted ones, and far less fear. So the painted ones, I'm assuming, are the picks. He was either lying or mistaken. What is Orkney jar? 
You've heard stories of the islands to the west across the sea? Orkneyjar are the northernmost, northernmost of those islands. Many Northmen have come to take land from the tribes that live there. There are stories of great kingdoms to the south, with great concentrations of wealth and little in the way of defenses. We never made it that far south. Perhaps I'll return to those islands and explore further in the future. Who are the painted ones? They are the tribes who live in the north on the isles across the sea. They are called the Picts. Perfect. Their weapons are poor and their homes are primitive but by our standards. But they fight fiercely and they live in harsh conditions. All in all, there's not, they're not worthwhile targets for raids. But their lands are fertile and so far we've been able to keep them in check. I'll discuss these findings with my confidants. We'll talk again later. Alright. Don't forget your oath, Dane Shadow Coast. I've been waiting my release, huh? Alright, so the plot thickens. Kettle, I should have seen the connection. Yeah, Thane School mentioned his ties to Copen at the feast, and here's a group of Northmen attacking us out of the blue. What does he stand to gain from this? He must intend to weaken us ahead of the next Alfling. Do you believe he's really been to the Isles across the sea and Gunnar as well? Could be. He said they crossed far to the north and found only tribes, but if the stories of larger kingdoms to the south are true, perhaps that's where Ragnavid where it went. Let's not get carried away by fanciful stories of unprotected coasts full of treasure. I won't make the same mistake as my father. Alright, if the stories are true, there is much opportunity there. I would love to follow my father's footsteps to see what he saw. Your father lost his life exploring those islands. Remember that before you follow his footsteps too far. That's a good point, at Yislilif. You're much too young to be so cynical. <laughs> we should take this to Astrid and hear what she thinks. Right, she knows school a lot better than we do. Alright, so we're going to head back to my, m I guess, mom over here. And figure out what she recommends. I like this game so far, guys. It's definitely different from what I expected, but it's a lot of fun so far. So we'll see. It's... A lot of technical stuff with all the stuff, and it looks like it's we are playing on insane and Iron Man mode, which might have bit off too much since I don't know how to upgrade or anything. Did the man talk to you? Talk? What? Where did you? What did you find out? School call. Thane School has been on the islands across the sea. He recruited the Northmen there. School is the cause. Then it's worse than I thought. How? The Northmen have started settling in the isle, isle, isles across the sea. School met the raiders there and convinced them we were easy pickings. And we were. This raid was our own fault. Our defenses are inadequate. We'll deal with that later. If School is acting against us, do you know what that means? I'll try to get control of our clan from Sigurd Ring, the next Athling. That must be his ultimate plan, yes. This gives him almost a year to weaken us further in the eyes of the king, and nobody will help us against him. He holds great favor with the king, so we can expect no political protection. Further, yelling is a larger territory than many fine warriors, so we can't possibly face him in battle. Third, he is all but controls a trade with Kopong, a route so profitable as to rival a trade from Saxony through Ribe. We have almost a year until the next eighth thing. There must be something we can do. Alright. We cross the sea and plunder that unprotected coast I've heard so much about. Must seek political alleys elsewhere. We need to build our own trade route. School as go and we'll get isle islands across the sea. I vote to what do you guys think? Hmm. Build trade routes. Everyone stops to consider implication. Dark looks are exchanged heavy with doubt and worry, but nobody appears to be able to come up with a compelling alternative. I see no other option. Your first act of saying will be to leave your clan just like your father. Do you have anything to contribute other than more complaints about Ragnavir? Do you have any rebuttal to offer better than uh huh? <laughs> I know you're sorting to surf Shadow Coast, but if you're so afraid to leave, I'm sure you can convince your thing to let you stay. I'll follow if so ordered. In fact, I'll be glad to go. However, our duties lie here with the clan. There won't be a clan much longer if we don't do something to counter school. Think about the glory we might find across the sea. The treasure in the battles. 
The scalds will sting of our deeds in the years to come. I only hope they will be sons of inspiration and not of caution. Then we must begin to make preparations immediately. We have two months until spring. You'll need a new ship and a real and a real herd to crew it. Your house girls alone won't be enough. We need cargo to trade. If trade is what you're planning. Hmm. Do we want to trade or do we want to just plunder? There are a few fighting men left in clan and we must leave some to protect the village. Maybe we should consider asking Gunner to join us. Are you mad? That is mad, but it might not be a bad idea. You saw him fight. We want a man like that on our side, but can we trust him? He's a brute, but if he'll swear fealty, he'll be our brute. Considering his present situation, I'm sure he can be won over. We'll give him a chance, but we need more crew than him. You'll need at least a crew of ten for a longship. If you'll take my advice on this, go to the market in Rive and make your plans public. Many have heard of the stories of that bountiful coast. You should find no shortage of volunteers. We should ask Torfin who's up to the task of building a long sh ship. If I know Torfin at all, he'll be dreaming of such a task for a long time. We should bring trade goods, but what little wealth fall left us was spent on the feast. I have an idea for that. I'm not sure <laughs> what you're going to suggest. Remember Yadis told us about the ancient grave in Funan, where they say a king and queen were buried with all their wealth? I knew it. If that's true, we could sell the loot and fill the whole ship with cargo. If that story were true, the grave would be have been robbed generations ago. Let's at least talk to Edis about it and ask what she thinks. It's worth looking into. It does sound whimsical, but Edis is wise and well-grounded. Talking to her wouldn't hurt. Then we begin the preparations, my son. I'll start pulling some strings so we can learn more about school's activities and plans. I'll hate to see you leave, but I know you'll do your father proud. Your brother and I will watch over the clan in your absence. Alright, so this is crazy, guys. A lot of different talking points, which is good. But, um... Yeah, interesting. We're a Kazakh going brother. You seem a bit dour since the raid. Your brother holds your gaze for a moment, then lets out a long breath. I know you said I acted correctly, but I just doesn't feel that way. I remember that failure whenever my mind is idle. I can't help it. I keep relieving the helplessness I felt. I see the way the others look at me. They say nothing, but they think I'm weak, unmanly. They're right. A man who can't protect his family is no man at all. The others are wrong. I'm your brother, and I know your strength. The strength of your wisdom and your kindness. Wisdom and kindness, not the qualities of a warrior. That's why you're the thane instead of me. In a better world, you would be a great thane. Wisdom and kindness are qualities any ruler should possess. But we've been given a world where strength of arm is all people respect. It's clear your brother sees the truth in your words, but it doesn't appear to make him feel any better. You've hit the nail on the head in here, I think. I simply don't belong. I never have. The sooner I face that, the sooner I'll find a way forward. Thank you for being straight with me. You're a good brother. Good. Alright, let's get outside. So we need some grave robbing. We need a long ship. We're going to talk to Gunner. We have to go to Ribe to... Recruit a bunch of people. I this game is leaving. extremely complex. I join you. Roska, hello. The witch's apprentice accosts you outside your longhouse. I heard you're leaving. I want to join you. Why do you wish to join? Uh, do I really need a reason? Yes. It's just time to leave, you know? I owe a lot to old Hulda, but I've learned that all I can from her, and I still don't know enough. I hear it's a big world out there. It'll be a dangerous trip. You have to contribute. Well, do you think there's a small chance some of you might get hurt on this really dangerous trip? You know these herbs aren't just for making people sick, right? Oh, who would have trained you as a healer? Of course. That's what witches do, you know. Sure, I'll be glad to have you on board. Thank you. I'll find someone to take care of Hulda while we're gone. Yes, you're letting the poisoner join us? Yes, and now... I was the one who had her poison you. If you're still angry about it, be angry at me. I took the whole night in the freezing outhouse because of her lies. I could have given you much worse things, you know. Warrior stairs pits fire. Ooh. So our crew expands to four. That is pretty darn cool. What are we doing here? How do we 
Recruit at least nine herdmen for your expedition. Travel to arrive and hire some mercenaries. Option. Consider offering Gunner to the place near herd if you'll have them. Talk to Torfin about building a new longship. Ask Yidis about... Um... Alright, so hold on. This is Torfin. So let's talk to him. Torfin is in his shop teaching one of his boys of his the proper use of an ads. He would be working on an ore. Good work, kid. Just keep it like that until this side is done. I'll have to talk to the thing, but I'll be right back. I believe you and your friends to thank for returning my wife's jewelry. What can I do to repay the debt of gratitude? What are you working on? Ah, I have a lot of work now fixing and replacing all the things that were broken and stolen in the raid. Right now I'm showing little Mageborn how to make a new war for his father after the old man broke it across the back of a raider. Ha! Huh. Do we suffer a lot of damage? Aye, it seems like those bastards managed to start a lot of fires and kick in quite a lot of doors. Kefeldoof is working on some replacement locks, so I'll be busy installing new doors when he's done. I'm sure you're not just here to check up on the repair work, though, are you? I'm mounting an expedition, and I need a new longship. Oh, ho! Oh, my dear man, I've been waiting for you to come to me with this task since your father's ship went with him into the afterlife. My master built that ship when I was just a young boy. I've always dreamt of completing such a project myself. That was a glory vessel in its day, fast and durable, but I think I can build on that design and surpass my own master. What type of ship will you make? It'll be a snicker just like your fellowship, a thin warship with a shallow keel. I'll put two dozen rowing benches in there so there's room for both you and your herd and some thralls. Hmm. So it seems like these are some interesting decisions of trade versus plundering. I do wonder. I think in this play playthrough. We're still learning. I think trade might be a little bit easier than trying to plunder. So we're going to go trade. I'll be honest. I could see myself playing through this game again a second time. And just focusing on raiding. Like the true north. The new true viking. But um, I'm going to go trade vessel. Very good. I'll make sure to leave plenty of room for cargo. Of course it will still need to, to be built as a warship. The position of our village gives us certain obligations. I'm sure you're well aware. What do you need? Well, timber first and foremost. You'll need to choose a tree that I will use to form the keel, the stem and the hull. Our nearby forest has served several grand old trees that each make for a fine ship. If you want me to undertake this project, I'll meet you in the forest to help you choose a suitable tree. If I start immediately, we should be able to have your ship ready by late spring. What kind of woods are you looking for? Let's see, oak is the most common. It's heavy and durable timber that will make for an intimidating vessel. Elm is a little lighter and more flexible. Could be used to make a slightly broader ship to haul a lot of cargo. So elm we're going to go for, or perhaps spruce would be a good choice. It's lighter material that would produce a fast ship. I think we're going to go with elm. I'll pick particular types of lumber from the different parts of the ship to ensure that every component is made within the best possible wood. But the principal material will have a great influence on the qualities of the finished ship. Anything else? We'll need a sail soon. I'll ask Dangard and her girls what they can do. I'll need some new tools. My master tool set is worn by age and shamefully outdated. Her husband... I feel like she'd be happy to help me with that. I'll need to produce a steering oar, some sort of anchor. Oh, this is nothing you need to worry about. I'll make all the arrangements. This sounds good. I can't wait to see what you can do. Meet me in the forest near your uncle's house when you have time, and we'll pick out some timber and get started. So I don't know how to... Alright, Sigur walks up Shadow Coast. I found something you may need to deal with. What's going on? I've come across a group of travelers camping on the forest. I can't tell if they're armed, so I thought you better stay clear for now. How many are there? I saw four in the camp, but there was too much baggage for just four of them. I think they must be six or seven. What colors do they wear? All sorts. Nothing that I've had finds them as a fighting unit. We have to deal with this at once. Ocher and I keep an eye on them until you get there. Alright, so... Um, like a lot going on here. 
Oops. Codex. Homestead. Prosperity. Prosperity. Meat Hall. Stronghold. Power. Power. Hundred wood, hundred wood, seventy five wood, fifty wood, five hides, plus four ration. Um, <clears throat> plus Edis gets a new fence and then a couple more. So, what do we need for this? Twenty five wood, five hundred valuables, banners, decorate your homestead to improve your clan's reputation. All right, so training ring plus two power up here. Man, we need we need some valuables, so I'm wondering if we need to raid. All right, so I think tracks this quest over here. So this is how you track quests. Um. So about this weather, huh? Yes, the frost has lasted very long this year. This time last year, the snow drops had already started sprouting. At least the forge keeps me warm, so my work isn't impaired much. All right, so we can let's see if we can get Gunner, this giant dude. I have an offer for you. I want you to join my herd. I accept. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be so easy, huh? Why would I reject such an offer? You showed remarkable prowess in defeating my men. I would love to fight by your side. We'll find a place to stay. For now, we can let you at least get you out of this pig pen. I swear before Odin to follow you wherever you ask and serve you with my life. That is fantastic. The little barrels here. Is it bad that we're like... Tar, poison, cloth, powder... Valuables. Alright, so let's see. We got a lot to do. Let's track this unwanted guest situation. Helfim Crackson. God and Dag, Shadow Coast. Do you need anything? I'm preparing to mount an expedition to the west. Aye, so I've heard. I'd join if I could, but you know how it is with my leg. Leg problems are no. We could use. Perhaps it's best. We can't be uh, completely a menfolk. That's true at that. We'll help your mother watch over the clan while you're away. Anything interesting happening while I've been busy? Well, Bajordis has been wringing her hands more than usual about her daughter's illness. I reckon you might want to ask her about it. If nothing else, then for Nefesh's sake. So how about this weather? It's been better. It's been worse. The wife is none too happy about the cold, but I'm always glad to warm her. <laughs> Alright, so before we do that one, the frail one is more important to me. Family comes first, guys. Nefja's sister. She's part of the herd. We're gonna help her out. I did not expect this game to be so much like people management, side quest stuff going on. I really thought this would be like more combat, but I like I like the mix. It's a lot of reading, I'll be honest. Nefja's mother Borges comes out of the bedroom when she hears the door open. Oh, Shadow Coast, did Nevcha ask you to come? Just wanted to see how you and Yafera are doing. That's very kind of you. Yafera is a little better today, I think, but she's still very sick. With all this trouble we've had lately, nobody has had time to go out and get more medicine for her. What sickness ails your daughter? A terrible deep cough, a slight but constant fever. My poor girl has been better in for a week. Is there nothing Hulda can do? She does her best when her mind is with her. Hulda is wise, but she's limited in her age. Where do you normally get her medicine? The Gijin Ribe knows how to treat this disease. We've tried a concoction maybe by her before, and it seemed to help. I don't know, I just don't know anymore. It's I've been to Ribe recently. If my duties take me there again, I'll bring back some medicine for you, Farah. We'd be in your debt if you can manage it. Of course we can manage it. So let's deal with the people. We'll head to Ribe, get our herd, and then we'll get wood and knock the stuff out. Or actually, as I'm thinking about this... I don't know how time works. Tomb Raider. Find all usable trees in scare and find all usable trees in scare and forest. We're gonna do the long ship first, so we get working on that. Uh, 
tracking. So let's Let's see. Oh jeez. What's happening? Do we open the map? Occupied, medium food batch, ultra high security, scared forest. Forest on the outskirts of your homestead. Alright. We're gonna take everybody. Two, four, five. As you plan your travels, keep an eye on this timeline up here. It shows your current deadline and illustrates how much available time you have spent. You have about one month to prepare for your expedition before it's too late, and if you run out of time, the game will end prematurely. Time usually passes on when you travel or when you make camp. Each time you make camp, 12 hours passes. In rare cases, storyline choices and events will also advance time. When you leave for Britain, time will advance to spring and you will be given a new, more generous deadline. Consider beginning long construction projects in your homestead before you trigger this time skip. Okay, fair point. We're heading to the forest. We want to get our long ship underway since it will take time. Press P to view followers. Nice. Alder healing. Um, uh, here removes most negative combat specific status effects. Brings an incapacitated alley back into action. So we get the second level for you. So 13 left. Um, Offensive skills. Um, you must spend a hundred, wow, hundred skill points. Shadow Coast, we're sitting at thirty five here. Um, Leadership governed by sense grants a bonus to both resistance and long special conversation options. So we definitely want leadership. Oops, I should have seen resistance increased by ten. Ooh, it gets expensive. Governed by sense. Alright, so... Let's see, we're just looking... Keen Eye seems like a good one. And Hit Points, so we can take more damage. Gunner here has seven to spend um, dual wielding gain axe alright so we can't really do much who's this guy? Torfin and a alright you my dear are our primary healer so we're gonna save that up 35 for Nefja have deterioration risks I am not sure how we camp Area map inventory area map. Let's 
Look how straight the trunk on this ash is. A strong and heavy wood like this would make for an impressive ship while leaving plenty of room for cargo. I always loved these woods. Pine is not the most obvious choice for a long ship, but it's strong and flexible. It might provide a, co a good compromise between speeds and cargo capacity. So maybe pine. Grab some herbs. Alright. So we're going to explore this entire area. And make sure you remember Aunt Alftis as a woman of great grace and beauty. Could find this spruce looks young despite its size. Its wood will be light, allowing the ship to go faster. Unusable trees in the Scald Forest. So... There's bones here. A deer. Looks like wolves got her. Poor little creature never stood a chance. Oh. Uh, great. Building your new ship will be a big project. It's important to use the right timber. Take a look around and just let me know when you're ready. Kring is occupied a group of women sitting around a fire. Their equipment is shooting about. The men look young but strong. It looks like they've been here a few days. What are you doing in my woods? The men around the fire stand up, exchanging sideways look. All I settle on one man who steps forward. We are uh, just passing through. Young man looks nervously back at the others and nods for them to back up. The men start to move away from the fire. Young man seems to relax. Sorry, we uh, don't want any trouble. Where are you from? Down south. What are you doing here? Just passing through. We're uh, merchants. If you're merchants, I'm sure you got something to trade. Just a couple of hides, a uh, 30 ortig of s silver. Look, it's pretty obvious you are merchants. I don't appreciate the dishonesty, so I think it's best if you leave. I assure you, I think we'll just leave. Then pack up and prepare to leave. Seeing how this works. <sighs> All right, so I think we need to kind of uh, a large old elm. This is a strong timber. If you use this, I can build a ship with plenty of room for cargo. I think a spruce is probably what we're leaning towards. I think it's a good combination of cargo space and speed. It's kind of interesting storyline. Grab some herbs. Armor tripwire. More herbs. That's strange. The dark hair man. cottage is open. Shadow Coast, I haven't seen you in some time. What brings you out here? He's your uncle, but it remains somewhat mysterious figure. Just checking you follows all. I didn't see you at the feast. I was not in the mood to drink. Ragnavir was a third of my brothers to die in battle, and I've grown tired of pretending there is such glory and death. What are you working on? I'm trying to improve the pen. This accursed pack of wolves has taken four of my animals since the autumn. 
I thought I'd fixed the fence well enough last time, but two nights ago I lost another sheep. Hmm. If you're up for it, I thought about setting up a trap to kill the pack. I can't do it alone, of course. They would just escape or kill me instead. With your help, though, it's a different matter. What's the plan? We tie a pig to a tree and lie in wait in a circle. If the wolves come, we attack. We'll try. They'll try to flee, so we'll have to be quick about it. But if the, we can just get about half the pack, they'll likely to avoid this whole area in the future. That should work. Where, when do the wolves usually come? When I'm away, so I can't catch them. But the grunting of lonely pigs should attract them. Shall we try? Let's give it a shot. Lead the way. I know a good place to ambush. This way. All right. This is interesting. That's strange. Grimmel's cottage is open. There's blood by the door and on the ground leading further into the forest. Something is definitely not right. Hmm. It's because they keep killing his sheep. Four out of six. I don't know where to go. Okay, we still have these areas so we can... Let's do this. You tie Grimwolf's pig to the tree and find hiding spots among the edges of the clearing. Alright, so I want to get some about three hours past. Finally, you hear shuffling in the undergrowth. Alright, so. We have. Two, four bunch of them, but we want to focus our fire. Alright, so... Thirty percent. Sixty-six percent. They're gonna flee. shield guys up. I think you can probably damage that one. Our healer can get in range and demoralize the, the guys. Alright, you get there. Torfin do you have Send you back. Where the hell is Neftja? Okay. Coming in. Resistant knockdown. Oh, shh. Nice to get the hell out of here. Oh, boy. Mistake. Oh, boy. Alright, so. Stun this guy. Attack, um, extended attack. Dissipate opening. Shadow Coast. Where's Shadow Coast? Nope, nope, that wrong guy. I'm flanked too, that's, that's not great. 66. Missed. He's on the ground, bro. He's on the ground, broski. Alright, death blow. That's cool. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, wow. He's... Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. I really need to watch out for attack of opportunity. Um... Oh jeez. Ah, gunner's down. <laughs> you win this one. Charge. Store on yourself. Alright, that's good to know. Oh, attack of opportunity. I can't feel my it can attack everything. of opportunity. The, um. Alright, so this is what happens when you put this on insane. I don't know what the hell we're doing. Sustained. No new injuries. Okay. We have to figure out how to heal. That should be a, the last I see of the pack around here. They were unusually territorial too. I'm glad you were here to help me. I'm always here. I'm always here for family, Uncle. Are you ready to talk about my father now? Wanderlust w w has claimed all my brothers now. It's difficult to talk about. On a trade trip to Kopong, your father heard rumors of the island isles across the sea. A group of Northmen is said to have sailed there to settle on the northernmost coast, a barren inhospitable territory they call Orkneyjar. Those lands are inhabited by tribes plagued by, plagued by infighting, but there are stories of larger kingdoms to the south, realms with large concentrations of wealth and little in the way of defenses. I'm sure you can see why this appealed to your father. He had the notion to cross the sea due west from here, hoping to find this bountiful and poorly pr protected realm. Um, sounds exciting. I don't begrudge him for that. Nay, he's dead now, and there's no reason to begrudge him for anything and any longer. He paid a heavy price for his adventures, however, and so did we who followed him. What happened? Greville stares through for, at you for a long moment. Then his eyes refocus, and they bore into you like the tip of a spear. The burdens of leadership finally grew too heavy for him to carry. He made a mistake that tore the group apart. Then he set off on his own. I never saw him again. You abandoned him? Curses, lad. You weren't there. You don't know what it was like. I've told you everything I care to. Let it rest. Tell me. Tell me what happened to him. Enough. You may be the thing, but you're still my nephew. Let an old man keep some secrets for the sake of his own grief. Alright, so... Codex... Loved and Rive were neutral. Alright, so we want to go over here, grab some more herbs. Ah, uh, Lark, this would make for an impressive, not as impressive as Oak, but it's lighter, so your ship would be faster than the one from Oak. Alright, let's head over here.
Heading south, looking for more trees. Um, this is beautiful oak. There's just about enough timber in here for a heavy, intimidating ship. All right, Torfin. I think we want to do spruce. I'm satisfied with the current selection. High speed, low intimidation, low cargo. Never mind. Um, medium intimidation, medium car cargo, low ash, medium, medium, low speed. Um, pine, medium cargo, medium speed, low intimidation. Very good. I'll fetch some of the boys and come back here to harvest tree. I've made my decision. I'll go back to Skarn. So if, when, if, if and when we replay this a new campaign, we will go full-on plundering intimidation offensive. I'll go back to Skarn then and we'll get started a meeting. Come see me there if you need anything else. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This was a long episode, a lot of talking. This game is very dialogue box heavy, but I like it. It's, it's interesting. We're really building our herd our group to um, raid and in my case maybe even trade so please subscribe please post love the support thanks for watching catch us the next one